Greetings, my fellow intellectuals and bookworms. Here is a long overdue video about why I hate Amazon. Amazon is a company whose sole job is to sell you stuff for dirt cheap. Um, I liked, for years, I've liked their used books for only a penny plus $3.99 shipping. But then I discovered their dark underbelly. Um, that, that their shipping is ridiculous. It doesn't cost three ninety nine to ship to ship a single book. And then they say if you buy twenty dollars worth of stuff you can get free shipping. But in reality you can you can never get free shipping. You know why? Because there's too many sellers and you can never find the exact same seller enough times to get free shipping on any items. Oh and then a a lot of times they sell you things that you think you want, but then when you get it, you you become sorely disappointed because you don't want it. Then you feel like you got screwed. Because you can't flip through the things, so you don't know if you get what if you're getting what you want. So I've had a lot of bad experiences with Amazon. Um they saying them saying that my used books will be here in 10 days and it comes in like eight weeks or it doesn't come at all a matter of fact that happened twice and then the sellers never respond to your email you have to go all the way to Amazon to get a refund and then you can't get a refund so their customer service is horrible and on top of that they're destroying what I really like I really like to go into bookstores and have a good time that's why I love Barnes & Noble I get to spend I can spend an hour and 30 minutes in a Barnes & Noble and come out with $250 worth of books, which is 15 books because I'm a member and I get a discount of like 10% off of everything. The membership costs $25, but it has saved me way more than that. So I just like go the atmosphere. I like visiting a bookstore because I get to hang around fellow smart people, and it's not and it's not commonly that I see fellow smart people. A lot of times in my past, I've been bullied for being smart. Kids beat, kids um, abuse me physically, emotionally, etc. This one kid threatened to kill me. He punched me in the face. He spat, spat on me. This other kid choked me. You get the point. But so a lot of smart people hide because hiding being the smartest person in the room is a lot of times the best option when that happens. So I love the atmosphere at Barnes & Noble, and I also like that when I get a book, I know that I'm not getting screwed over. Because I flip through it, and I determine that it is what I want. And you can't believe how many times I put something to my Amazon wish list, and I go into Barnes & Noble, and I figure out that I would have hated it anyway, and have, would have wanted my money back. So, yeah. And... So I like the atmosphere and other times, and it gives me a chance to meet smart people and other times I just, and I love the atmosphere of being around there. So, and it's like a community center for intellectuals and I hate Amazon for destroying that. I remember when the bar, when I was nine, I used to go into the Barnes and Noble like or not the Barnes & Noble, the Borders frequently, and then it closed, and I was disappointed when it closed when I was 12. And now, and now looking back on that, I realize that I was partially responsible by shopping at Amazon. So now I, I get back at Amazon by going on their website, putting like $120 plus worth of stuff in the cart, and then dumping the cart. And Amazon keeps sending me emails saying, you left your cart. And I'm like, yeah, I did it to get back at you. And so, yeah, I like Barnes & Noble, and I like local bookstores. I recently went to this local bookstore. It's called Beachtown Books in San Clemente. It's a nice little used bookstore. However, I prefer Barnes & Noble because of the selection. So, if you haven't noticed, I've gotten a haircut. Thank you. And, and please like and subscribe if you have not done so. This is Sean from the channel Sean Hartnett signing.